All right, guys, we're out here building a ledge. We're at Home Depot. We have no idea what we're doing going into this. We're just grabbing wood and go with it. If you don't know what a ledge is, it's basically, uh, so it's like, imagine like a rectangle, like a rectangular box, right? What is that called? Like a, what's the name for that? You ride on your scooter, do grinds, and take tricks off and stuff. That's what a ledge is, so we don't know what we're doing. Ah, my finger. Do you think this, this wood looks good? Yeah. You look, it looks good? All right, we'll do yep. this one. I don't know if we should do this one. This one's got a staple in it, bro. That's gonna ruin everything. Yep. I don't think we can take that out. Yeah, let's do this. All right, we need about 16 more of these. Let's go. Actually, this thing is way louder than I thought. <laughs> let's go. We are gonna go. We're on the hunt for wood screws now. This shouldn't be too hard. That's like three hundred dollars. All right, let's go next. I think we need a ladder. Why are we stupid? What else do we need? We need food. We need plywood. We need mason. Yeah, Julian. Uh, we're here, we're, we're waiting here to get the wood cut. So basically what we gotta do, you can skip this part because it's honestly really stupid and annoying and you don't want to hear it. So basically, uh, we're making this ramp, we're making this obstacle two feet by eight feet. So we got, oh, two feet by six feet. Go ahead and skip this part if you're not good at math or don't really care about numbers. I'm not good at math, don't worry. But we're making this ramp two by six. So we have to get a lot of stuff cut to six feet and then a lot of one foot long two by fours right there. Everything's here, we're all done. We just need wheels and to get these cut right now, right here. What's going on? All right, sick. Yeah, that's Sweet, we got all the pieces. We got a little bit of extra as well. And Julian got the wheels just so it's easier to transport. Can you go lower, please? Um, the ones, those ones right there. Are they more Oh my God, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God I'm like. <laughs> Look at this. This is insane. We actually fit everything. We we're honestly kind of doubting like everything. Also, we ended up spending like one hundred and thirty-five dollars. Um, it's totally fine. We split the we split the funds. Also, it's, are you hot in here? Yeah. <laughs> I have to turn the AC off. Also, this whole thing right here, this is so not safe because if this thing goes into neutral while we drive because of the weight of this wood, uh, we're screwed. Julian's house is about four minutes from here. We'll be fine, but that was a mission. Just dropped all of the pieces off. They're all over there, ready to go. Uh, we're actually just gonna forget about this and uh, we're thirsty. Let's go uh, to the gas station. About 20 minutes in, we still have no idea what we're doing. It has been approximately 36 minutes since my last clip. We've got the entire frame done. Now what's left to do is take these four right here, these four support beams, take those four support beams, put one here, 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 and here. And I'm not gonna lie, we're out of screws. We throw on this piece of wood, then we throw on the masonite, then we're done, baby. Oh, and then we have to put that on. And Julian's currently struggling trying to drill this in. Oh, you did it. Oh. You did it. You got the right drill bit. Sheesh. Day 45. We're almost done. We got the support beams in. <sighs> For extra stabilization and support. We're going to put two more beams right underneath here, right underneath here. Then we throw the layers on top. Then we throw that on and we're golden. All right, we got them installed. Nice and nice and snug and secure. We're able to stand on there. <laughs> nice. Try it. Test run. That's fire! Oh my god. Just gotta screw this into place. Throw that piece of coping on and we're done. All right, we just laid the masonite on top where well, it's not fully screwed in. We just got one screw there and one screw on the other side. We have to put a few more in the middle or in the middle or we're actually, are we gonna put any in the middle? No, I don't think. No? Okay, then we're just doing, are we doing one there? I think. Okay, so then we're gonna do one right there, one right there, and then finish it off with these. Holds this in place, holds the masonite in place and we're ready to ride it. <laughs> Tell me how the last screw, I was trying to make this super like sentimental moment where you put the last screw in, it stripped. <laughs> All 
All right, so the ramp is done, but for finishing touches, we decided to add these wheels for easier mobility. So we're gonna throw two on this side and two on the other side. Look how perfect that fitment is. That is fire. And then tell them what we're gonna do at the very end of everything. We're gonna paint it. We're gonna paint it. It's gonna be freaking sick. We're gonna do orange, green, red, and purple on the other side. It's gonna be fire. Are you excited? Yeah. Wow, so excited. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. So we also built this little sketchy little extension that like raises it up. Is it moving? Uh, it's okay though. Uh, we'll be fine. Basically, what it does is obviously elevates it. You have yourself a bank slash up ledge slash down ledge slash down bank if you jump into it. It's pretty cool. What do you? What trick do you want me to do? Double heel. So dumb. All right. Off a bar, baby. We did it. We're not painting it right now just because we've been out. How long did it take? Around three hours, roughly. Ish. Two and a half, two forty-five. I don't know, but it's done. This thing's a beauty. It holds up well. Thumbnail. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Shout out to Julian for coming up with this box ledge idea. Hi. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm absolutely exhausted. We're both exhausted. Boring. We stayed hydrated. We drank our water. I'm out. Frick scooter.